Today I'm in the wood yard. I'm on a road trip. Adam and I are gonna go for a little ride. We're going to a saw shop. We're gonna pick up a brand new chainsaw. A chainsaw that we don't own. Uh, you have seen one on my channel. Uh, maybe two? One for sure. My good friend Corey from Minnesota stopped in a couple years ago and brought his chainsaw and it's uh, the same kind. So you're gonna get to see it right now. Here we go. So Adam and I just pulled up. We are at Evergreen Power and they are in Little Shoot, Wisconsin. Yep. And we're gonna go inside and we're gonna look at some chainsaws. So let's go inside. Well, this is brand new, nice. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. What? <laughs> Holy smokes. Look at the stuff. Oh yeah. I had no idea they had this much stuff. Yeah, so Echo's on this side and all their huskies are over there. Looks like they're fully stocked for spring here. You got lots of mowers. Here's some Echo stuff. See, I've ran. I think of which one I've ran. I, one that's like a 500 ish. Does that sound right? What is this one? Right here, this one. I've ran this one before. Okay. The 590. It's a nice saw. Yeah. It's like a 60 cc, I want to say. Is this like Burt's, right? This one, I think. The 355, I think. So. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Very nice. Hi, Joanna. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. We're better than we deserve. That's how we are. That's it. That's <laughs> so, obviously, this is your Echo of stuff. Where's yeah. the Husqvarna stuff? Other side? Other side yeah. Well, let's go look at the other side, too. Well, look at everything, man. You guys got lots of stuff here. Not a good year for snowblowers, though. No. <laughs> well, the only good thing is maybe spring will come fast and you can uh, move a lot of lawnmowers because you got lots of mowers, I see. Holy smoke. So here's some Husqvarna stuff, top handle. So we had this one for a while, right? The yep. 540 XP? Yep, that's the one we had. And then they got a big boy here, 395, 72. And this is an 85? Yep, that's an 85. And uh, 72, 62, 45. What's supposed to be here? Oh, 450, yep. Looks like you sold a couple of them. You're gonna have Probably to... the ones we're out of, yes. Yeah, well, the 50 and... Because that's the one we have right now. Right? Yeah, well, no, no we've we have got the... the three. No, we've got the 540. The oh, yeah, that's right, we got the 540. Is handle Yep. What do you think of yeah, well, we had the top handle and... We had the top handle, now we have the rear handle. Oh. Yeah, great for brushing. Nice. Okay. That's it. Yeah, you start getting to this, yeah, can't handle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah the real uh, it's great. Yeah. I mean, I like. Yeah, the it's a nice little. It's a nice light. Weigh like nine pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. tiny. Great brushing saw for us. But most people, fifty to sixty cc's is yeah. what they're going right. to get. That's what you sell the most of by yeah. far. Yeah, like the rancher for most homeowners is ready right. for what they need. That's kind of what I started with mm -hmm. too. So yeah, oh, you got some down here. These must be electric. A couple of battery saws over there. Yep. Yeah. So the 540 obviously is both of these. So this is the pro version. This is the homeowner one I'm guessing. Yep. And are they moving at all or just so-so? So the top handle we sell a ton of, the, the 540, they actually now just came out with a 543. Oh, okay. To kind of go along with the new Mark III Auto Tune 2.0 setup. Um, I have no experience with that one yet, but the, definitely the top handle 540 has been very popular. Yeah, well for homeowners they're nice because you just go. Mm -hmm. Here's the chain lockers. A lot of guys ask me about these and I don't have them but they're awfully nice. Right now I just have boxes and boxes and boxes of chains. So you guys got a lot of Oregon and the Husqvarna's. Are you selling a lot of the light bars? We do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. It's basically a Sugihara with Husqvarna's name on it. Right. It'll so what is this? Holy it smokes. Is the biggest saw that Echo currently makes. Yeah. I read one of these a couple of years ago, but this is the newer version, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one I saw I had was, I didn't have it. I br a guy brought it and we sure. ran it for a day. This is different. So is this like a year or two since they kind of redid it? Yeah, so they, Echo kind of has revamped their whole lineup. Like you'll see a lot of them now are going to have the black mm -hmm. recoil housing. Pretty much all of them have that now. So this is their new design. They're using magnesium like a lot of the other manufacturers now, mm -hmm. so everything is a little bit heavier duty. Um, a cool thing that Echo does, and a lot of people like steel because they got those flip-up style caps. Mm -hmm. What Echo does is they form 
the recoil handle on purpose uh -huh. so that you can pull that out. Isn't that special? Out. Looks like you got some Which fuel in there. Cool. Yes, we have it for you. That's kind of that's a cool feature. So now you don't have to have a wrench in your pocket. Right. And are these anyway, are these more than just a half twist? Yes. Or they, yep. So there's so probably four twists. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's one thing I like about Husqvarna yep. versus steel because steel. They, a lot of guys say, oh, they're just fine, but every still, not, I should say everyone, 99% of them, yep. Yep. they leak. They leak. They yep. just do, because it's not enough that pressure. you triangle piece lined up perfectly, yeah, you pop yep. it in there, you set it up. And, and you get any little bit of sawdust in there, you got an open yep. spot. I, that's what I found. How are theirs for breathing as compared to like the stills versus the Husqvarna? Because I know the some of the, the stills that have, uh, especially the 500, mm -hmm. They don't breathe good and they pl clog up real easily. We've had good luck with them. They actually have a, Echo has a cool video on their website where a guy actually took like paper shreds from a paper mm -hmm. shredder. Right. And in the middle of cutting it is jamming it in through here. Uh -huh. And he just and chewed it, comes, it up. It Basically he takes this off uh -huh. and all the shavings are still there. So it basically, it took it through didn't absorb it into the filter and basically right. push it back out. So then the to get the to cool. get the cover off, you do need a screwdriver yeah, scrunch. Yeah, you do need a wrench for. So there's three. Yeah. So instead no, of having okay. the clips that can bust off, this Which is just a quarter. Which they turn. do. I've yeah. broken lots yep. of them. Just quarter turn. Quarter okay. Turn. Yep. Yep. I've broke lots of the clips for the Husqvarna. That's one of the things I don't like about mm -hmm. the Husqvarna. Another thing I really like about this versus the Husqvarna 70 cc size saws, you've got real dogs and two of them. Mm -hmm. Most of the Husqvarnas have wimpy dogs and one so i like that that's awesome yeah and there are previous models like the was the 800 um the 620 they have an uh inside one mm -hmm. but you have to add the outside one so with this they put them both the right. larger they got the big nuts too and those yep. are captive so oh there oh they won't fall very off. nice very nice yes captive's really good i like that and you got a nice chain catch there yep, chain catch there yeah, that's the other thing i like about having the double dogs like this mm -hmm. That chain catch, actually, on a lot of the husvarnas on ones I've had, I bend them. Yep. Because you're setting it down, it's hitting a log or hitting the ground, and so that always gets bent. I shouldn't say always, but a lot of mine have because you don't have the double protection there. And the pro saws in Husky will come with the plastic one like this, the roller, right? And the aluminum one. Echo just goes to this one so that it does protect your chain somewhat. If it does come off, you have less chance of damaging your right. Driving, so. so this is an actual 70 cc is it 72 it's a touch over so it's like 70 it's point like, yeah i, I have to look but i want to say it's like 70 point or 72 okay. point something yeah, i believe right. it okay that's right. what i thought too and, and then you, they do that. make full wrap handles also they do make a full wrap so this one came out um just yeah. before they offer that in america i don't know what the issue was with that but now it is available in a full wrap yep there must have been some kind of material that they didn't jive with so now for your business here do you guys sell just as much echo stuff as you do husqvarna stuff in is it pretty big close saws like this truthfully we sell more husqvarna yeah and i think part of that is because people just associate husqvarna they associate steel with bigger chainsaws mm -hmm. since this one's come out and they've redesigned the 620 mm -hmm. the 620 is probably my most popular pro echo saw um, hmm. because it's lighter and it's got a lot of power right um, but we sold a fair amount of these since they came out with this bigger one now these have been out say three years now mm -hmm. so it's still fairly new but as far as consumers though you sell a ton of echo stuff yeah, absolutely i've had three different echo products mm -hmm. um bush trimmer weed whacker kind of stuff yep. and they ran just great i got one right now it runs really nice i like it a lot in like leaf blowers string trimmers it's probably 100 to one really way more echo mm -hmm. stuff yeah huh interesting well, I know a lot of guys that don't cut wood where they're selling it or burning it for themselves. It's just for, you know, yard work kind of stuff. Right. A lot of guys have echoes. Yeah. Because when you compare them size by size, they really do work really right. good. Where, I don't even know, where is Echo made? So Echo, as a company, Echo is out of Lake Zurich, Illinois. So just, oh, just three just hours from here. Down south across the border. Exactly, yep. So the engine block and you'll see it if you look at any of the tags of where they're manufactured actually come out of japan mm -hmm. so their parent company is yambico and that's who actually makes the engine block but everything so, from the plastic to the engine itself is assembled in lake Zurich. so but it's japanese engine. not chinese the engine is japanese. well to me that's that's mm -hmm. that's way better yep. that's way better yep. that's why i think a lot of people like hondas and toyotas and mm -hmm. stuff like that because they make good stuff, yeah. they just do. So now this is not an auto-tune. 
Correct. So right here is your high low and your your adjustments there. And I'm assuming that takes some type of a little wrench inside just fancy, the standard. Yep, a fancy like a star one. To it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now the other cool thing that Echo does that most people don't even know this. Um, along with molding, they literally mold all these plastic parts in Lake Zurich. Really? They designed a type of plastic that's actually see-through, so that's if we were right. outside, mm -hmm. right. you'd be able to see the level of fuel. And does this fuel go all the way oh, in the back yeah. in the handle? Mm -hmm. Cool. I see that. You can see that the yeah, fuel's actually, in there. You can kind of see it in the shadow over here where it's yep. moving. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. So huh? it gives you an idea it of... It is. You know, I'm going to see how open this is on the bottom. What is in there? That's just in there for... Oh, yeah. It's real cool. open. So for ripping, that should work really that's good. That's a lot better, yeah. Because I know some of the... the adjustment for your... Oh, it has adjustable oil. oil. Oh, that's really good. Oh, open. yeah, it's not right there. In there you can oh, I get it, get it. Nice. That's really open, though. Yeah, that's real open because I know a lot of the steels do not have that much space. Nope. And when you get into the bigger huskies, they, this gasket is giant and super bulky. Yeah. Yep. The um, 395 is. Yeah. Some of them are even hard to get the cover back on because it's so. So, what is the chain on this? Is this. Uh, so, they run all Oregon. Okay. So, that's going to be a. 5 0. Yep, so 50 gauge. You can get it in 58 now. Okay. Um, we have it in 50 because that's, that's how Echo's always done it, and it's easier to that's good because people that that's, Echo is 50 gauge. Yeah, and that's what I have too, all 50. That's so. what I have. <laughs> yeah. Um, My brother has all the bigger stuff. Yeah. From what I hear, steel is kind of leading the charge to be either 50 or 63 gauge because that's what they use. Oh. So at some point in time, 58 might not be available, but I don't know. And this is a 24 bar, 24 right? 24 inch bar. Yep. So it's going to be again an Oregon bar, Oregon chain with their name mm -hmm. on it. Do they support any other? So like, you know, you can't put a steel bar on a Husky. Can you put a Husky bar on this or Not a steel bar? Not to my bar? knowledge. Okay, so you do so have to get... Chain for sure. Chain doesn't matter. Oh, as long as you're yeah. using the right pitching gauge. Yep. Right, um, right. But the, uh, as far as I know, now most of the performance bars that they have with the replaceable tip do have an elongated um, hole for the chain tensioners so mm -hmm. it's possible that they might fit but yep otherwise it'd be an Oregon it's got a greasable bar. hole on the tip which it is does. nice some don't have that and it's a replaceable tip do you get a lot of people that replace tips Very or not few. yeah usually when that's worn out the rest of it's worn out. Uh, that's what i found i've replaced some on some and then had them you know recondition everything mm -hmm. for what it costs Just unless you have like on a 42 inch bar then i could see it oh yeah a real big you one where, where it's a couple hundred dollars, couple hundred dollars yeah bucks. right exactly you know this is probably a 80 dollar bar so by the right. time you get done putting a thirty dollar tip on it and labor, exactly, and then redress it and everything. Yeah, it's worth it. worth it just to get a new one. Usually, I save my old bars just if I got to cut a stump or something. Same as the date. same as the same as the chains. Yep. Or give it to a Always kid. Gotta keep a couple old chains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the brake works the same, obviously. Yep. A little less torque to this than you'll get with like the huskies. I know some of the bigger huskies you got to really yeah crank on it to get it to come on and off. I'm assuming it's a uh, um, not an outboard clutch, right? It's inboard clutch, okay. which is nice. Which is what you like. <laughs> well, that's what the steels are. A lot <laughs> right. of the steels are like that too. Yeah, they'll just right. have the the replaceable rim sprocket is On really accessible, which is yep. nice. Yeah, you don't have nice. to clutch all off to get that. Very nice. Well, we'll definitely do some videos on it, put it through its paces, and try it out. It looks like a beautiful saw. It does. Looks really. I love, really like the looks of it a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like a kind of like a fishing lure. Yeah, so I like made, made to catch right. guys, exactly. not fish. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and they've really accentuated the the felling lines used to be just orange, so oh, they've yeah, now they really oh, yeah. over that, so you can really um, see what you're looking at when you're using it. Very nice. Oh, awesome. So, what are you guys as hours here? What are you open We're for? We're open eight to five weekdays, so mm -hmm. Monday to Friday, and then we do have Saturday hours till noon. Okay. Um, just as yeah, you guys got days, I. So. You know I've driven through here knew you guys were over here but i never came inside yeah. now i know it's like wow you got lots of stuff a little bit of everything yeah do you do a lot of your repairs here too and everything yep, we have full service shop yeah nice. full time guys that'll do two stroke four stroke you know everything from a small string trimmer chainsaw up to a you know diesel lawnmower so, so as soon as the weather gets good i bet they get busy huh? crazy. yeah yep. yeah it's when the, yep. everybody brings in their stuff that they can't Usually get started march first we say <laughs> The yeah, crazy. March 1st is when the, the maniacs yep. show up. Exactly. Yep, exactly. That's good though. That's what you want. Yeah, right. It is pretty much a holiday. Yeah. So there's the chainsaw we're going to take and abuse. So tell me about the other stuff in your shop. You got everything here. So we're, yeah, just a general small engine. So we like have full, brands, yep, full service. We've got Toro is our main brand. Yep. We've got Husqvarna both in handheld equipment and in lawn and garden. So you've got tractors, 
zero turns, snow blowers. Uh, Xmark is another commercial lawnmower brand that we sell quite a bit of. Um, and then we do get into the battery equipment in Ego, which has been a very good that's doing well for battery you. Battery powered uh, brand for yeah, us. Yeah, I've had guys mention this to me because I've got a battery one that's not real good, and they said you got to try this. Yeah, we have uh, very good luck with it. We sell a lot of them, and then Echo, of course. So very nice, awesome. So what's your address here? So we're at 401 East Evergreen Drive, and it's a Kakana zip code, but we're just off the highway in Little Shoot pretty accessible from any direction. And do you guys ship stuff out if people want we to do. order stuff? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they can order right yep. from here and you can get stuff yep. shipped out. So if you, for any, anybody that wants to get equipment that you can't find in your area, if you're in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. you guys will ship stuff out. Yep, so that's awesome. And we'll so what is your number? Your I'll put that on the screen. So it's 920-372-8999. Uh, there you go. And I'll put that on the screen so they can look it up. Yeah. So there you go, guys. We're going to take this and we're going to do some work with it. So that's it for today. You know what to do. Poke the buttons. We'll be back tomorrow, 5.30 a.m. with another video for you. Right now, go watch all the other videos on my channel. Tomorrow, we're going to be running the saw. Come on back. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.